What's going on dudes and dudettes? Daniel here. Welcome to my Luke Cage Season 1 Episode 11 Spoiler Review. Make sure you have seen the episode. It's taking me about two minutes to recap it, then give you the pros, cons, and final score. Thanks so much for joining me. So before I get on to the recap of Episode 11, let me little drizzle and dizzle a little bit of Episode 10 recap on you so I can make you a little bit more smarter. So at the end, Luke and uh, Misty are behind the bar because they're going to have sex and they're not. They're getting shot at by a bunch of Diamondbacks people, and that's it. So now on to episode 11. So uh, yeah, they're, they're getting shot even more, and they end up escaping to the kitchen. Apparently, she's going to make them some, a sandwich. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm joking. They don't have time for her to make a sandwich. So I'm kidding. Don't be butthurt. Uh, so they go to the cellar. Um, so Misty is bleeding out. You know, she's been shot, I think, one or two times. But she's she's badly bleeding out. Uh, Diamondback has hostages. Mr. Boom, Mr. Boom talks on the phone to SWAT. And uh, they now think that Luke Cage is a bad guy. And they think Luke is holding the hostages and such. So the SWAT, they have new weapons. The Judas Bullets. They're going to take Luke Cage out one time. So anyway, Candace helps Claire. They get to Misty. Shade finds them. And, well, he gets his dick bit off. I'm kidding. He doesn't. Uh, anyway, Shade ends up getting knocked out because Claire knocks him out, which was really cool. Claire kicking some ass. I love me some Rosario Dawson any day of the week. Luke confronts a bunch of the guys, and he fights... Diamondback ends up throwing Candace off this ledge, and Luke grabs her. So he escapes. Well, Diamondback escapes, and Luke is arrested by SWAT at the end. Now on to the pros and cons. I want to get the basic things out of the way for the pros. The easy stuff, the music, the cinematography, and the practical and CGI effects. Always great. Any episode, any day, any time any week. The element of Misty bleeding out and her talking to Luke and she thinks she's gonna die and just the conversations that they had I thought it was very well acted out uh, and Misty has had her ups and downs during the season. I liked her and then I didn't like her and then I think she's cool and then I think she's really mean and bossy and all that but she really is like when she was bleeding out and kind of thinking that this is it I'm gonna die in a cellar I'm gonna you know this is the way I go out uh, I'm really happy that she, you know, she did. I think she's gonna be, she's gonna be a huge part of Defenders and a huge part of Luke Cage season two, like Heroes for Hire. Like she's got it good. Misty Knight is gonna be a badass, like even more one day. She's gonna be really amazing. So she ain't gonna die like that. No way, not in my book, not in my book. Uh, but with all that aside, man, I think that it a little, a little tears of emotion. Uh, I love how Claire was helping out too. Like she even got up and using the whole thing like I'm a nurse like she is a nurse but she was like I, this girl's gonna pass out she's gonna get hurt I need to go get something and like they end up going to the back or whatever she sneaks uh, she sneaks to the side uh, kicking I think she kicked that guy down the stairs too one of the guards which is really fun and, and the whole part of uh, when the fist goes through the wall and Claire's like on the wall, boom the fist goes through the wall imagine if she just got hit in the face and like and then like just like Walking Dead, spoilers, like, I don't know what, no, you should know already, like, Glenn's eye, when he, just like, ah, and the eye, like, Claire's eye, <laughs> I think it'd be funny, uh, it would, <laughs> imagine, boom, and like, oh, are you okay, I hit you so hard, your skull, that your pie popped out, and just, I don't know, I think it'd be pretty crazy and pretty cool at the same time, oh yeah, but, uh, besides that, the, the music, the cinematography, the action in here was really that well, good. Not great. The action wasn't great in here. But uh, Claire and Luke and their chemistry together and then Claire helping out being a badass was great as well. Now Misty was cool for the most part of the episode, but at the end when Luke was getting, uh, when Luke was getting tossed away into the police van... Misty should have said something, and I know, I know it's part of the story, and yes, she said something different at the end, and she went with it. All right, you're gonna get your ass in jail. But she should have done something like, hey, hey, bozos, you little asses over here, you little penis white men, okay? Luke is helping. He is a savior. He helped everyone back there. He's not the bad guy. He didn't keep people hostage. So what I say goes. You listen to me, you take it up with Captain, that bitch don't know shit. I know stuff. I'm Misty Knight. He saved my life. 
So declare Temple. And y'all, y'all don't know anything. He's good. No more. He's not going in. He doesn't need to be questioned. He could get questioned next week. How about we get Diamond back, okay? He's somewhere in there or else he's gone. We should be looking for Diamond back. Not worrying about Luke Cage, okay? That's what she should have done. Except she was like, all right, well, shit, might as well go and question him. She's like, whatever. So I was just thinking, like, well, the next episode is just it's one, it's one, but it, it filler, 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 filler. When we could get stuff done, let's go after Diamond back. Let's not put our energy towards Luke Cage. Question him next week. Let's go and fight Diamond back. The awesomeness of Claire Temple knocking out shades. That was cool. I'll agree. I will say. I enjoyed it. A little erotic. But with the thing with Shades is like, why don't y'all just, I don't know, like, why is he a bad guy? Just turn good. Obviously, you're expendable. Diamondback ain't gonna keep you forever. So, Shades, you should probably turn to the good side and help Luke Cage out. You're just a cliched villain. You have glasses. You have no power. A girl knocked you out. So maybe you should switch sides shades and last but not least a few scenes in this episode was pretty slow but overall I still had a great time uh, the action was good Claire and the chemistry with her and Luke and, and the effects and the music and the cinematography diamond back throwing Candace off the ledge the opening was fun so it was an entertaining episode I thought it was great is it the best episode out of the season no, but uh, my favorite episode out of the whole season will always be episode four, when Luke was in prison and the origin story of Luke Cage and how he came to be my favorite episode. Yes, this, I'm going to give it a season one, episode 11 for Luke Cage, an A-. minus. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed, make sure to... Smack the like button, comment down below to me what you guys thought about the episode. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Share with your friends. I'll see you for Luke Cage in March. Till next time, make sure to check out all the other content I do. I do a lot of content. Your minds are not prepared for the awesomeness. Let's get to 500 subscribers by the end of the year. We're about, what are we? We are 30 shy? 30 shy? Oh no, we're like 50 shy. We're 50 shy. 40? 60? I don't even know. 70 shy? 70? 60 shy? Let's get to it. Let's get it done. You guys are awesome. Bye-bye.